All right, on this episode of Mike's Tool Reviews, uh, this is the tool that I saw on another guy's channel. I mentioned it before, uh, Snap-on Junkie, and I ordered it before the video was over. I thought it was so cool. And this isn't a new tool for me. It's a tool I already have a bunch of. It's just a new one and a different one. But I'm really excited nonetheless. And this is going to be a bullshit unboxing because I shot a video where I took the package from the mailman and walked downstairs the whole time recording and threw it on the table, put the phone on the tripod, and started recording. And I thought it was a pretty good video. Actually, I screwed up a lot towards the end. And I was talking about how this was a legit, this was a legit unboxing because you, you, you'll see them start an unboxing video and they're like, okay, um, we're going to unbox it. But you know they already took it out of the box. They checked it out. They put it all back in the box and then acted like that was their first reaction. And uh, this isn't. I've seen this already. So this is, uh, I lost a little bit of magic from the first one. But this is from a company called KC Tool. They sell... I think all German tools, everything they sell is German. And they send you a bit of thanks. And it's a number two Phillips bit. As far as I know, they send it to you with every order. And this is, uh, let's see. It's a fellow. And it has KC tool stamped in it. Thank you, guys. That's cool. It seems it's going to stand out, too. This isn't like, uh... It's got a little extra shine to it than the uh, domestic ones, which are probably made in China anyway. So this is it. This is the Weira Red Bull Racing Edition 7-piece screwdriver set. comes in this pretty sweet box. It kind of reminds you of an of a iPhone box almost. Um, and in the, fr in the, in the, first, uh, the first take... I couldn't figure out how to get the box open, and I made a joke about how what is this some kind of bullshit German engineered box? And you gotta like pull it from the corners or something, but I just couldn't figure it out. Alright, so you open the box and you got this holder which appears to come with all their screwdriver sets. But this one says Red Bull Racing and it's blue. Dark that dark Red Bull blue. Um you can, this is bullshit too. This does not line up with the peg. Well, yeah, it almost does. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe I can get that to work. I thought it didn't line up with the pegboard in the first take. Where then I made a joke about uh, this is a, a, a SAE pegboard and that, they're, that, that, that fit, this fits the metric pegboards that you get in Europe. Again. The magic is lost on that joke. But I'm probably going to save this box. It is pretty sweet. I'll put something in it. It's like durable, durable enough you can, you know, have it around for a while with some shit in there. And this is like really uh, ultra minimalist features list on the back. It's just like pictograms. You can this you can twist these screwdrivers, okay? That's a, a unique feature. Um, whoa. Be careful, because at one point, we used lasers on the end to etch the steel on the tip. Which actually is a cool feature, it just... I like how they put the laser warning symbol on there. Uh, this is saying that they don't roll on uneven surfaces. This is... It, the grip is good. Look at that. Ah, I can't wait to experience that for myself. This is saying that it uses less weight, less pressure inward at the the fastener to loosen and then this uh, incredibly unique feature where they put the name of the screwdriver to type on the end never seen that before all right so here they are and i must say they're pretty can i say that about screwdrivers that is a pretty set of screwdrivers i really don't want to screw these up plus they're a special edition and they all have the Red Bull Racing logo on there. And uh, just like everybody else, uh, this blue plastic is hard. It is like a, you know, a hard, solid plastic. And then this is a red, the red part is a rubber overmold for extra grip. Like, I don't know. You can tell that. When people say that in a video, they describe that. I, 
nine times out of ten, I you know I can tell that dude. Just uh, <laughs> get home with it. So this is the number two Phillips. Hey, good look at that. You can see the lasers that hit this thing. But that actually is like oh, sorry for the <laughs> I use this hand. Sorry for the bloody thumb. But you can feel that. That and, and there's a lot of texture on the end of these screwdrivers, and they all have that. Here's the. This is like different. Here's the flathead. And but this is a little different. Most of them, uh, like the Tectons, have. Oh, that's the camera hates that. <laughs> The Tectons, the, it's got like ridges that go left to right. These go kind of at an angle from the tip towards the handle, but not straight at it, just at an angle there. So that's a 1.2 by 6.5, I guess 1.2 millimeters thick, 6.5 wide is how they're uh, labeling these. Here, I'll show you this one, and I didn't even know what this was until the screwdriver set. So actually, from the first take to now, I got to look this up. This is a posi drive, and I had seen these before, and you can tell by the extra feature there between like the, uh, the crosses of the Phillips. That's this totally separate fastener, and I didn't know that. I, like, I've seen those bits before, and I just thought it was like extra reinforcement or something, or just an extra little design. But they do not, they don't fit. This is a, like, that's not, you're, you could not turn this screw with that screwdriver. Here's the number two Phillips. They're that much, oh shit, I just knocked it off. But they're that much different. I really thought they were almost the same thing, but, I mean, that's the Phillips. And here's the, the Posi drive. And it just kind of spins on there. You can't really see that. But um, I didn't know that. And then apparently that a lot of IKEA furniture comes with this kind of fastener. So I get I get some stuff from IKEA once in a while. So this is going to be the IKEA screwdriver probably. Um, it comes with number one and number two Phillips. That's the positive drive. Number one and number two Phillips. And it comes with number one and number two posi drive. Which are these two. IKEA screwdrivers. And then it comes with three flat heads. Flat blade. Whatever you want to call it. And they all have that. Damn it, I'm not going to be able to hold these. They all have that uh, laser etching in the tip. So these, these these feel really good. These feel just the whole like the the detail, just the way the steel down the shaft is. It's just well finished, you know. It didn't. They don't just like pop it out of the mold and throw it in a box. Like all of the uh, the mold markings are are almost invisible on there. I don't. Yeah, you can't you can't really see it at all. <clears throat> just a very uh, refined tool. It's definitely a lot, a lot better than what you see from craftsmen. And I must say, and I've heard this a lot. That, oh, that is damn, damn. Where? That is just. I can't convey this on a video, but I've never had a screwdriver that fit my hand like that before. Like, it, it's really good. It is. That is the shining feature of the screwdriver. I'm sure the tips are really nice, but um, that grip is just uh, is really good. So, we've got the seven pieces, and they fit in. They all have the Red Bull Racing uh, branded logo on them. And I've seen, the odd thing is I've seen this exact holder with six-piece sets. So you get the set, and then you have an extra hole, which is kind of okay. You can throw something extra in there, add the seventh you know, yourself. You can buy all these screwdrivers individually. Uh, I think you can get most of them from KC Tool. I've seen them on Amazon. But uh, that's it. That is a good-looking set. I'm, really, I'm probably going to buy another set of these. 
that are the regular, their regular color is teal. But these special ones, I'm probably, I'm going to use them, but I'm not, I'm going to be, they're going to have an easy life. They're going to have an easy life down here on the RC workbench. Work, uh, yeah, RC workbench. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I say, there. I didn't plan this out at all. I don't plan this shit. Not even in the frame. Alright. Like I said, um, they can only get better from here. These, I promise you, these are going to get better. I think this one was better than the, the previous two. Alright, so, uh, like, no, don't. I'm not going to fucking do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do the pound the like button. Just, uh, it, hey, let me know what you think. You just like this, what else would you want me to see in review? And, uh, if you like it, subscribe, because I'm telling you that they're just going to get better. I'm going to start getting into, into editing. I might even edit this video. Who knows? So, uh, thanks for watching.